Hi there. This is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about heart disease, aged garlic, and TMAO. Big study in just the last couple of weeks showing that if you measure somebody's TMAO, you can predict those folks who are at high risk for heart disease and those folks who are at high risk for all-cause mortality and those folks who are less. So what is TMAO? Actually, it's an interesting compound. It's made from carnitine. And carnitine is in, as the name implies, carne, meat. So when you eat meat, you get carnitine. But where does the TMAO come from? This is the whole new field of discovering what our gut does for us. It turns out our gut bacteria turn carnitine into TMAO. That's it in a nutshell. And what does TMAO do? Well, there's not clearly known yet. There's some discussion about it, uh, but the general gist of what I get is basically TMAO plays a big role in driving small, dense LDLs into the wall of your artery. And if you stop eating red meat and eat more vegetables, your TMAO goes to normal pretty quickly. So vegans have very, very low levels of TMAO and very, very low levels of heart disease. In fact, another person at the Cleveland Clinic, Esselstyn, has shown that if you get somebody on a vegan diet, you can reverse their coronary artery disease pretty quickly. Isn't that interesting? And the correlation is, within red, is with the red meat, not the saturated fat. That raises a very interesting conjecture. We talk so much about fat, but maybe fat isn't the enemy. I've been believing that for years. I'd love to see more data that shows it. It's the red meat that's the enemy. So the keto diet, the ketogenic diet based on red meat is the problem. And here's what I think is utterly fascinating. The real ketogenic diet, the real way to lose weight, is to eat the green vegetables that your bacteria in your intestine turn into short-chain fatty acids. Back to gorilla research. If you want to have some fun, look up gorilla research and ketogenic diet. And you'll find out the gorillas eat 15 pounds of green leaves a day and get 70% of their calories through the bacteria in their gut changing the green leaves into beta-hydroxybutyrate, short-chain fatty acids. What will work for me? A, I've signed up to get TMAO blood testing for my clients in my practice. B, I'm eating roasted broccoli for breakfast this morning and Brussels sprouts. Uh, I've stopped eating eggs. I'm cutting down on the, my food of animal dramatically. And just this week, nutrition reports came out saying you ought to have about a hamburger a week and maybe two eggs and leave your animal consumption to that. That's all about TMAO. What does aged garlic do? Fascinating. Reduces the bacterial conversion of TMAO. Isn't that interesting? I've got a gar I've got a jar of garlic in my basement now aging. But you could buy some aged garlic yourself from the Kaola Company. Get on the internet, you can order it, you can have it by tomorrow morning. Take a couple pills morning and evening if you have heart disease and can't stop eating red meat. This is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about aged garlic and TMAO and heart disease.